Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. This is Miss Melan class. Are you ready? Of course you are ready. All right, I'm going to give you a new thing for today. It's not new, but it's not also old, but we're just going to keep going. All right. This is uh, English exam preparations, preparation for the fourth week of quarantine days. Can you imagine that? It's almost a month. Oh my God, we're doing good. Keren juga kita ya, bisa bertahan <sighs> sampai sejauh ini. So I hope it will give us a good result. Kalau kita konsisten, kalau kita bertahan, hasilnya insya Allah baik. Okay guys, so welcome to the class. Miss One class for April 6th. 2020. It's about to begin. There is a tropical tree named Tamarin that is widely spread in several regions around the world. It produces a paste-like sweet sour fruit. The young fruit has a green and sour pulp. As it ripens, the pulp becomes more sweet sour and turn paste-like. In the Middle East, Southeast Asia, Mexico, South Asia, and the Caribbean, people use tamarind pulp to cook. The leaves and seeds of tamarind are edible too. They can be used in sauces, desserts, kidneys, marinades, and drinks. Tamarind pulps are also becomes one of the ingredients of Worcestershire sauce. In traditional medicines, tamarind has an important role. It was commonly used to cure constipation, fever, diarrhea, and peptic ulcer. Its leaves and bark were also used to treat wounds. The polypenols in tamarind have anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. These can protect against disease such as diabetes, cancer, and heart disease. The pulp extract is able to help you to lose weight and reverse fatty liver disease, and seed extract is able to help you lower blood sugar. Hi friends! I'm with Gendis now and she's starting to get um, lonely because he... She wants me to play with her. So, number 41. Where do the fruit become sweet sour? You can see it on the first paragraph. The fruit becomes sweet sour when it ripens. Ripens itu artinya matang. In which paragraph can we find the functions of tamarind? We can find the function on, of tamarind in third paragraph. Nah, di yang sebelum-sebelumnya, teman-teman banyak yang lupa untuk menulis jawaban esai dengan setengah pertanyaannya. Maka di sini Miss Bahan ingatkan lagi ya. So, ambil setengah pertanyaannya. We can find the function of tamarind in third paragraph. Okay, number 43. The leaves and seeds of tamarind are edible too on paragraph 2. What does the underlined word mean? The underlined word means can be eaten. Edible itu maksudnya bisa dimakan. Jadi, can be It's an, ada passive voice di situ. Dan ingat nih teman-teman juga banyak yang belum bener nih soal ini. Kebanyakan nulisnya the underline word is means. Nggak bisa. Ingat, means yang dikasih s minnya bukan is mean. Kalau mau pakai is itu untuk Miss Melan is pretty, Miss Melan is hungry. Remember, oke? Okay? Number 44. How does tamarind protect us against heart disease, cancer, and diabetes? So, the pink line, garis yang pink ini nanti bisa dilihat ya di teks yang tadi Miss Mahan bacakan. The pulp extract is able to help you lose weight and reverse fatty liver disease. And the seed extract is able to you lower blood sugar. Sorry, Miss Mahan akan benarkan ejaan yang ini nanti ya. And then, the next one, combine the two sentences using if clause. Ada dua, we consume tamarind regularly, we are healthy. Jadi, gimana gabunginnya? Remember, kalau ada satu yang present tense, masukkan will-nya atau me. If we consume tamarind regularly, koma, ini penting, komanya, we will be healthy. Alright? 
It's the beginning. Um, you have an announcement here. Saturday, 1st April 2019. There is a major engineering work taking place on the above date. On some routes, buses will replace trains. While on other service, the train will be retimed. The details for this are on the notice board by the exit gate as usual. Thank you. So, what is this talking about? Kalau pertanyaannya adalah where, so where is this going on? So, for me, it's at a train station uh, karena ada, the trains will be retimed. Uh, Jadwal-jadwal keretanya akan di-retime, diwaktukan kembali atau dari schedule. And then the announcement is intended for the, of course, the train customer. Consistence, train and train. Um, train engineers itu adalah uh, insinyur-insinyur keretanya. Mungkin maksudnya masih nis. Bus customer, no. Kan nanti uh, bus itu yang akan menggantikan si trainnya. And then pedestrians itu berarti pejalan kaki. And then number three, buses will, buses will replace trains mean the underlined word is closes in meaning to substitute, menggantikan. Karena kalau produce, memproduksi, make, membuat, give adalah memberi. Let's change up the music, okay? Um, I have the next one and this is a short message text. Uh, Dear Ilham, have you got the information that Desi's mother passed away this morning? Let's go to her house this afternoon. How about at two? So, we can do something for the family. Let me know soon, best Ada. Why does Ada send the message? Kenapa? So, it's very clear to tell Ilham that Desi's mother has passed away and you find it, oh, sorry, you find it on the text. All right. And then for the next one, number five, what will Ilham likely do after receiving the message? Usually, well, normally, after hearing this, Ilham will text back. Akan text balik dong. Emang bener gitu kan? And then what time you will go and etc. That's well. Text and call, and And now we have another text. It's an invitation text, okay? Let's read it. Dear Nando, Zakia's leaving is just a month away. Let's gather to say goodbye to her. Saturday, 15 June, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Paradise Resto, Jalan Tentara Pelajar Number 10, Yogyakarta. At SVP2, IU at 0813-9178-95632. By 10th of June. So, Nando is invited to come to a farewell party because you have leaving and you have goodbye. Farewell to Arne Bisan. Kalau welcome, welcoming, housewarming, itu semua um, datang sifatnya. Pesta uh, kedatangan, kemudian selamatan rumah baru, birthday, anda tahu. Number seven, let's gather to say goodbye to her. The underlines word is closest meaning to. Meet, gather, together. Biasanya seringnya dengar yang itu kan. Karena gather itu artinya um, ketemu, berkumpul. Kalau find itu adalah mencari, come itu datang, create adalah menciptakan. Saatnya narrative text. Kita mendongeng dulu ya. Oke. Okay. A group of swans landed on a beach where a crow was hopping around. The crow watched the swan arrogantly. He came closer and said, You fly graciously. All you know is how to flap your wings. Can you glide? Can you do acrobatic in the air? No, that's impossible. He laughed. Let's compete. I'll show you what flying real is. The swan agreed and both launched themselves into the air. They begin flying while making the receive comments on the swan's manner of flying. The crow flew around him. They keep they kept flying and flying until the land until the land was lost to sight and the water stretched endlessly everywhere. Slowly, the crow started to give less comments and finally stopped. He felt tired and it made it hard for him to fly. 
he struggled not to fall into the water. Seeing the tired crow that started to touch the water several times, the swan asked, Is that another trick? Why do you keep touching the water, brother? No, cried the crow. He was very tired so that his desire to show off had completely gone. I'm in trouble. A curse on my boasting. If you are not willing to help me, I'll drown. Looking at the crow, looking at the crow, the swan had pity on him. Then he took the crow on his shoulders and flew back to the shore. Okay, let's read the questions. Why did the crow challenge the swans? Kenapa burung gagak ini menantang si uh, Angsa? Di paragraf pertama tuh ada kalimat yang bisa nge-glide nggak? Bisa, bisa akrobatik nggak? Jadi um, diledekin gitu loh. Uh, Kalau Angsa tuh cuman terbangnya tuh cuman graceful gitu, cuman anggun doang. Makanya uh, dia merasa ingin menantangnya. Karena dia berpikir bahwa cara mereka terbang itu sangat membosankan. He thought the way they flew was boring. Nanti dia ti warna ya. And then, while making the receive comment on this one's manner of flying, the underlying word is closest in meaning to nice, funny, cheerful. Itu semuanya positif. Like, gak bisa kita masukin ke dalam kisah ini karena si crow dari awal sudah tahu dia itu mengejek. Dan itu maksudnya adalah sarkastik. Terus number 21. Why, what would happen if the swan did not help the crow? Well, the crow would fall into the sea Karena ada kata the crow itu uh, I'll drown, nanti aku tenggelam Seperti itu And then number 22 What can we learn from the story? Kita bisa belajar apa? Well, basically Do not underestimate others Gak usah, uh, apa namanya ya uh, Ngerendahin orang lain atau situasi ya Karena pada dasarnya Si Kron ini ngerasa bahwa angsa yang lagi tenang itu tuh karena nggak bisa apa-apa gitu loh. It's not like that. Kalau yang A, we have to do our best in any situations. Um, yes, tapi bukan ini ceritanya. Flying is not an easy act. Well, for the birds are. Uh, and then help others to fly better. No, bukan itu maksudnya. Woohoo! What do we have now? It's another announcement. <laughs> Let's read it first. The classy. Proudly serving you our family recipes from our family run restaurant with authentic and exquisite Italian cuisine for over 70 years. We are special. So are you. Parties for any occasions, $25 per guest. Let us plan the event with you and create such an unbelievable and unforgettable experience and pleasure. Our restaurant is the perfect place with the perfect ambience for your private or corporate event. Many of those who have visited us and experienced our cuisine return. Those who have moved from the area will surely make a visit to recall the amazing experience they have had. In the classy restaurant. Cocok memang musiknya. <laughs> Sorry. Focus. Grab your phone and contact Joe. At 574-0981208. Our location 096-N Adventi Boulevard 222. Dallas, Texas 75215. Telephone 214-312-4444. Oh, it's an... Advertisement. Okay, let's check it out. How does the restaurant management describe themselves? Uh, di teks ada yang udah misalnya dari sini, yaitu ada kata a family run restaurant with authentic and exquisite Italian cuisine. Jadi dia special masakan Italia dan sudah jalan um, family run, jadi sudah diturun turun temurun dari keluarga. And then, number nine, the restaurant might be interesting for those who, of course, who enjoy Italian cuisine. Yang suka masak, eh, yang suka sama makanan Italia dong. Kalau yang suka Italia, berarti maksudnya suka sama negaranya gitu. Nggak, nggak berarti suka sama makanannya. Alright, and number ten, many of those who have visited us and experienced our cuisine return. The sentence suggests the food in the restaurant is so delicious that people want 
it again and again. Um, jadi orang-orang yang sudah berkunjung itu akan balik lagi karena makannya makanannya itu sangat uh, lezat. Jadi orang mau datang lagi dan datang lagi. Kalau tu itu lebih kepada juga. Nearly itu hampir. Uh, almost juga termasuk hampir. Jadi karena lezat gitu ya. Okay, now we have another descriptions, a descriptive text, sorry. One of the most famous places to shop in Semarang is Johar Market. Johar has an average of 30,000 customers every day. They receive orders for all kinds of things. Once they became the biggest market in Southeast Asia because of the number of the orders they received. The market which was built in 1936 is located in the downtown of Semarang. Close to Tugu Muda Monument and Simpang Lima and the city park. The market is also close to the old town area. Its locations make it popular among the tourists coming to Semarang. The market provides buyer with various things, such as fruits, vegetables, groceries, pottery, fashions, fish, meat, and tasty food. In short, you can find almost anything you need in this market. You can even, yes, you can even find old cassettes and book. One one special thing about this traditional market is that you need to buy it when the sellers tell you the price. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the bargaining process can take some time, but it is just like a culture that both the seller and the buyer enjoys. Some buyers even try to bargain for 50% of the price told by the seller. I'm sorry, guys. Gundis just passed by. Okay. But I hope you can still hear me, okay? Which paragraph tells us about the things sold in the market? It's on paragraph 3. Apa aja yang dijual? Buyers with, fav uh, with various things and everything. The bargaining process can take some time. Bargaining. The underlying word means uh, bargaining itu tawar. So, it's asking for less than... Oh, ada di situ, sorry. Aku baru tunjukin. Asking for less than the given price. And number 13, what is the intentions of writing the text? Tujuannya. A. To promote. This is not a uh, advertisement, bukan iklan. To describe the exact locations... Not really, nggak dideskripsikan secara tepat. And then number three juga, to persuade itu juga buat iklan. Ini enggak, dia kayak recount, kayak retelling aja. So the answer is, to provide the reader with the brief information about Johar Markets. Number 14, buyers should bargain if they want to get a cheaper price. Jadi di sini keluar conditional if yang kemarin ya. Buyer should bargain if they want to get a cheaper price. Karena kalau that, itu lebih kepada yang, however, itu lebih kepada bagaimanapun, dan although juga termasuk walaupun. Jadi, if di situ adalah jika. Buyers should bargain. Pembeli harus menawar jika mereka mau mendapatkan harga yang lebih murah. Akhirnya, kita punya procedure tax. How to cook rice. Number one. Wash the rice twice in a bowl. Number two, then put the clean rice in the inner pan. Number three, pour water to the inner pan. Adjust the amount depending on your preference by following the marking inside the inner pan. It shows the required amount of water. Number four, before putting the inner pan into the body of the rice cooker, wipe rice the outside of the inner pan. Place the inner pan into the body. Turn it slightly to the right and left until it fits and seats properly. Number five, close the outer lid tightly until it clicks. Number six, then press the cook or power button and wait for 15 minutes. When the rice is finished, the indicator lime will turn green. Okay, let's answer the questions. What might happen if you do not follow the third instructions? Ada yang sudah misalnya tandai di third instructions, yang itu terkait dengan airnya. So, Kalau masak nasi, airnya berarti terkait dengan nanti nasinya mau lebih keras atau lebih lembut gitu. Kok lebih lembut sih? Lebih empuk, ah, lebih tanak atau apa bahasa Indonesia-nya. So, the answer is going to be the rice might be too soft or too hard. Terlalu empuk ataupun terlalu keras. Number 16, 
What should we do before closing the lid? Ada di situ uh, yang misalnya warnai pink juga di tahap yang ke uh, tiga atau empat. Kemudian jadi before closing the lid sebelum nutup itu ada apa yang harus kita lakukan? Itu memasukkan pancinya, panci yang buat uh, di rice cookernya itu ke dalam uh, mesin rice cookernya. Kok mesin? Uh, ya rice cookernya lah ya. Secara tepat jangan sampai geser atau gimana. Lalu turn turn it slightly to the right. The underline word is closes in meaning to slightly itu maksudnya a little karena slight dikit. Kalau heavy itu berat, berat sorry kalau light itu ringan, long itu panjang. Number 18. When do we know that the process of the cooking has finished? Kata kerjanya adalah finish selesai. Kata kuncinya adalah finish dan itu di bagian terakhir ada the indicator lamp turns green. Kalau sudah matang Lampunya akan berwarna hijau. Oke. Okay. Now we have a recount text. Um, I'm going to read it for you first. My school held a cultural day last week. We were asked to promote any culture from Indonesian and the world. Then I decided to wear yukata, a Japanese traditional outfit. On that day, I woke up early to prepare my yukata. At six, I took out my yukata from my closet and browsed the internet for the tutorial on how to put on yukata. I followed the instructions step by step. It was easy at first, but things became hard when I had to wear the belts. There were three kinds of belts and I had to wear and they should be set on each others. I failed to put them on several times. I got annoyed and stressed since I had to go to school at seven. Later, I tried my best to finish it quickly and went to school. After I arrived at school, many of my friends praised me. They said I look unique and pretty in Yukata. I was so happy until I felt something tickling my foot. It was one of the belts. It came loose and fell at my feet. I felt very embarrassed because many people were looking at me. Because of that, I almost slipped over it. Fortunately, one of my teachers saw the incident. She took me to the teacher's office and helped me to fix it. She put on some pins to secure the belts. Uh, for me, this things is for the topic is quite weird ya. Topiknya tuh sebenarnya jadinya loncat. Pertama dia ceritain hari budaya, tapi tahu-tahu fokusnya adalah menjadi sebuah uh, apa ya? Ada kejadian dengan bajunya dia. But for me, topic is what comes in the first. Uh, topik itu berarti kan apa yang diomongin dari awal dan buat misalnya sih tetap a culture day at school karena memang ada hari itu cuman di dalam hari budaya itu dia kena masalah dengan bajunya mungkin ada beberapa pendapat nantinya akan bilang bahwa ini tuh an incident with you kata but let's see what your teachers gonna say oke okay? udah number 24 according to the text we can assume we can assume that it was the first time for the wearer to wear you kata jadi ini baru pertama kali dia pakai karena ada kata apa di situ? Browse internet untuk pakai tutorialnya. Berarti kan itu kayak baru pertama kali. Oke, okay, number 25. I almost slipped over it. Itnya itu di situ apa ya? The loose belt. Jadi ada sabuk yang kendor. Ada di situ. It was one of the belt. It came loose and fell at my feet. So how did the teacher help the writer? This one. By using some pins to secure the belt. Pins itu adalah uh, penitinya. Ada di kalimat akhirnya. Okay. And I'm going to read for you again. Champion instant oatmeal, pineapples, and cinnamon. The new combinations of the tart sweetness of pineapples and subtle spice of cinnamon is now ready. The champion instant oatmeal new flavor is made of 100% whole grain Canadian oats. This will become one breakfast you can enjoy. One package of Champion Instant Oatmeal, 33 grams, supplies up to 30% of the daily amount of fiber to help reduce 
cholesterols. Nutrients facts per one packet, 33 gram. Amount per serving, calories, 120. Fat, 2.5 gram. Percentage of daily view, 2%. And then trans fat, 0 gram. Daily value, 2%. Sat fat, saturation fat, 0.5 gram. Cholesterol, 0 milligram. Sodium, 160 milligram. Daily value, 7%. Carbohydrates, 26 gram, 9%. And then fiber, 2 grams for 8% daily value. Sugars, 9%, 9 grams, sorry. And then protein, 3 grams. Uh, vitamin A, 0%. Vitamin C, 0%. Calcium, 6%. And iron, 30%. Ingredients, whole grain rolled oats with oat bran, salt, cinnamon, sugar, natural flavor, calcium carbonate, thickener, vitamins and minerals, Iron, niacin amide, calcium pantothenate, tiamint mononitrate, vitamin B1, pyrex, pyridocins hydrochloride, vitamin B6, and folic acid. Contains oat and soy ingredient. May contain wheat. Now we have questions number 27. The text provides the reader with the answer is supposed to be A because you have to pay attention on the nutrition fact. Like it's like the fact in the nutrition. Karena ini text label kan? Jadi kita harus memperhatikan kata fakta-fakta uh, nutrisi yang ada di situ. Jadi lebih seperti itu. And then number 28. The product is suggested to be consumed at the beginning of the day. Karena... Uh, yang mis tandakan di sebelumnya di warna ini nomor 28 adalah ada kata breakfast jadi oatmealnya ini uh, dimakannya di saat breakfast berarti at the beginning of the day and then number 29 the product is a significant source of iron karena di di label itu teman-teman bisa lihat bahwa iron itu paling banyak jumlah presentasinya yaitu 30% atau 30% vitamin A 0 tiaminnya itu uh, apa namanya bahan-bahan yang ada di bawahnya and then kalsiumnya itu cuma 6 jadi uh, significant source nya untuk iron karena asumsinya di situ 30% alright 30 the daily amount of fiber to help reduce cholesterol kita semua tahu bahwa kolesterol itu harus dikurangi ya ada din sekalian berarti maksudnya adalah decrease karena decrease jatuh ke bawah tapi kalau increase itu berarti naik uh, naik give memberikan add menambahkan We go to the next one. Um, you have an announcement, or you can say this is also an invitation because you can read the invited words in there. All seventh graders' parents, you are cordially invited to Market Day 2019, SMP Indonesia Jaya. <laughs> Day and date, Saturday, 20th June 2019 time. 8 a.m. until 11 a.m. Venue, schoolyard. There are more than 40, 40 stands selling food, beverages, and other products made by the student. Fresh vegetables and fruits coming from the school farm are also available. Come and support the kids to be successful entrepreneur in the future. Okay. So, question number one, biasanya ini selalu nongol, why did the student issue the tax? Issued, kenapa dikeluarin, kenapa dijadiin isu, itu maksudnya. So, jawabannya, to invite parents to attend the market day. Selamat datang di suara last lagi, karena di situ ada kata invited dan ada kata parents. It's so easy, as easy as that, okay? Number 32, there are more than 40 stand selling food beverages. Um, the underlying word is similar meaning. Similar meaning berarti kata-kata yang mirip, kata-kata yang sama. Dan balik lagi, food beverage. Biasanya kalau ada makanan ya ada minuman. Karena vegetable itu masuk sebagai food. Meals itu juga makanan artinya itu masuk sebagai food. Dan fruit juga artinya makanan masuk sebagai food. Very pretty. By reading the text, we can conclude that the students of SMP Indonesia Jaya are also trained to be a farmers. Mau dijadiin petani. 
um, uh, uh, karena ada kata ini school farm jadi produk-produk yang dijual itu datangnya dari school farmnya dan mereka diharapkan bisa menjadi successful entrepreneur in the future supaya bisa jadi pengusaha di masa depan dan kalau yang A painters berarti pelukis hunters berarti pemburu and then singers yang artinya penyanyi so romantic right <laughs> At this number, the rain is suddenly pouring down, so it's kind of living up the moment. Okay, guys, so you have a wish card in here. I'm sending you the best wishes for a quick recovery. There's a flower in there. Very nice. So what is the intentions of sending the text? Remember, intentions, itu sama dengan propose, tujuan. Of course. To wish the recipient to get well soon. Karena ada kata wish. Dan ada kata quick recovery. Get well soon itu sama. Okay. And then. Um, kalau yang A. To ask the recipient to come quickly. No. And then C. To praise. Untuk memuji. Okay. This is not. Lagi sakit. Lagi sembuh. Lagi mau sembuh. Maksudnya. Bukan untuk dipuji. Tapi untuk didoakan. And then to the congratulate. Not even close. And then number 35. I'm sending you my best wishes for a quick recovery. The sentence shows that the recipient is not in a good health at the moment. Kenapa kita ngirimin ini? Karena kalimat di atas itu, I'm sending you, berarti menunjukkan bahwa yang nerima ini sedang dalam keadaan yang tidak baik di kesehatannya. Um... Jangan juga bilang critical Karena that's like too much Karena terlalu Tapi kalau bad uh, Kalau lagi apa Bad health Kesehatan yang lagi buruk nggak um, bisa dibilang gitu juga sih Karena di sini ada kata not Jadi nggak mungkin not in bad Berarti tidak sedang Tidak no way Kalau, kalau not in happy health Bukan itu maksudnya Kita lanjut ya, ditemani oleh suara palu dan paku karena tetangga sebelah lagi ngebangun. <laughs> Beda ya kalau punya apartemen dan tertutup gitu ya. Uh, Oke, okay. <laughs> what does the second paragraph tell us about? Langsung lihat second paragraph dan langsung ketemu yang namanya subgroup of Kalimantan Stripe. 37, the text might, might be interesting for those who. Teks ini akan menarik buat siapa? The one who wants to learn about Indonesia's culture. Kalau inherit, A itu adalah mewarisi. Uh, sebenarnya itu ceritanya masih agak umum ya. Jadi, nggak terlalu terkait dengan mewarisan warisan atau apapun itu. Terus, kalau yang D, menulis buku tentang Dayak. No. Oke, okay, 38. Um, historically, historically, sorry, Dayak children stayed with their parents until they got married. Kita harus kasih kata sambung di situ. But... Many youngsters leave their house to study or work now. Karena ada dua, dua keterangan yang berseberangan. Historically and now. Secara historis berarti dulu dan ada kata sekarang. Makanya harus dikasih kata tapi. What is the intentions of writing the text? Intention, ingat tujuan. Salah satu tujuan dari deskriptif text seperti ini adalah to tell the readers about the Dayak tribes in Borneo. Kalau yang A, to inform about the life of the tribes in the 21st century, enggak. Karena ada kata uh, abad ke-21. Bukan itu yang diomongin, walaupun kata abad ke-21 nya ada. Tapi kita harus ambil yang lebih uh, umum. The, to tell the readers about the tribes in Borneo. Number 40, many of them also pursue ruler employment. Pursue itu mengejar. Makanya jawabannya adalah cheese, karena cheese juga artinya mengejar. Kalau oppose itu bertentangan, create itu mencipta, dan get itu mendapatkan. Jadi banyak dari mereka yang juga mengejar uh, apa namanya pekerjaan di daerah luar dari um, dayaknya. Dayak are the indigenous people of Borneo Island. Many of them live along large riverbanks. 
the Austronesian language family becomes the root of their language. The populations of Dayak people in Indonesia had reached 2.2 million in the 21st century. There are many subgroups within Dayak tribes. However, the lines of differentiations between them are often difficult to build. There are several famous subgroups of Dayak, such as the Kayan, or usually called as Bahau in Kalimantan, the Kenya, the Ngaju, the Bidayu, and the Iban. They are all widely spread in Kalimantan and Sarawak. Historically, Dayak people lived with a few hundred members in longhouse communities. They trace their distance through the male and female lines. The children would live with their parents until they got married since the family was the basic unit. Although there was lack of unity between groups because of the difference in language, custom, and marriage, a boy could choose his bride outside his own village. Later, he would live in his wife's community. Nowadays, however, many young Dayak women and men leave home before they are married to study or work in urban areas. Many of them also pursue rural employment, such as at timber camps and oil palm plantations.